As a long-time tourist in Mexico, I've seen my fair share of souvenirs. From the Jaguar whistle at Chichen Itza. So this is the TNT walk-in Jaguar whistle. It gives me <laughs> To the breast mugs on the way to Chichen Itza. But I have held strong and never made any less than educated purchases. Mainly because I don't have the room in my backpack. However, the one thing that always catches my eye are these huge predator statues that you just see in some of these souvenir shops. And I really don't want to understand how big these things actually are. And it got me thinking, why Predator? Now Mexico isn't shy about making merchandise of stuff they don't own. Goku, Spider-Man, hell, even the Simpsons. All these make sense to a degree, but Predator must have had something different to warrant such a cool and huge souvenir. After some research and asking my Mexican girlfriend, the answer was fairly straightforward. Most of the filming for the iconic 1987 movie took place in, and I'm probably mispronouncing this, Mismaloya, Mexico, which is situated on the southern edge of Puerto Vallarta. Val Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta. Something like that. In the ancient Mayan town of Palinque, Mexico. This location, a tropical haven, was perfect for the film, offering a breathtaking setting of dense jungles and mountains that added a gorgeous but perilous vibe. But that dangerous touch wasn't artificial and the filming in this movie posed a serious issue for this crew. But they did their best to become prepared for the filming schedule ahead. The cast underwent a week of intense military training in Mexico, guided by advisor Gary Goldman, to authentically portray the special operations forces in the film. This rigorous preparation was deemed crucial to achieving a realistic depiction despite its physical challenges and they would need all the endurance they could possibly get because the production team had a tight schedule of 56 days to complete the movie. Now I'm not going to cover the full backstory of the film and how it got made, but I highly recommend doing the research if you want to, if you enjoy this video, because it is very interesting. What I really want to focus on is the challenges that the Mexican jungle had on some of the cast members and crew. Our first memorable incident to highlight these challenges involved Richard Chavez, 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 yeah, <laughs> who played Poncho. Taking a brief intermission in the dense jungle, Chavez unknowingly sat amidst a swarm of red ants. He was bitten over a hundred times on the arms, leading to a severe reaction and shock. In an effort to soothe the burning as a stress, Chavez ended up stripping off his clothes and immersing himself in a water tank. The severity of his ant bites was such that even a local doctor was astonished, having never witnessed such an extreme reaction. However, Chavez, Chav, Chavez, I've definitely been mispronouncing it, wasn't the only one to have his own horror story <laughs> in this filming, clearly. Bill Duke, the actor behind Mac, shed light on another significant hurdle, the jungle's unbearable heat and humidity. He recalled temperatures climbing into 90 degrees Fahrenheit and beyond, creating a stifling atmosphere. The challenge was compounded by the heavy equipment and weapons the actors had to carry in the rugged terrain they had to navigate. Joel Silver, one of the film's producers, even said in a joking way, We've got guns, we got millions in the bank, we can take over Puerto Vallarta. Duke's experiences illustrated the immense physical strain on the actors who had to move through the jungle fully equipped, all while being on the lookout for venomous snakes, spiders, scorpions, and other dangerous creatures. Despite all of this, every morning before filming, Arnold Schwarzenegger, along with his trainer and the other muscular cast members, woke up 90 minutes before breakfast to work out. Arnold had arranged for a massive gym to be transported to Mexico in large trucks. This equipment was set up in the hotel's ballroom, which served as their gym throughout the shooting period. I think this is also something The Rock does, <laughs> like, everywhere he goes. And I do have to say, it worked like a charm. Jim Thomas, who was one of the movie screenwriters alongside his brother John Thomas, said, The Mexican crewmen thought we were absolutely crazy. They'd never seen a movie like this before. To see a guy in a red suit running around in a jungle when you have all of these guys in military garb and a minigun and everything, it's like, what is this? With the movie less than half complete after 48 days, the studio threatened to stop production. Joel suggested adding an exciting palapa sequence to keep the project alive, despite having only a week to film it. He insisted on integrating the cast into major stunts to boost the scene's engagement. Through creative redesign and teamwork, the sequence was completed in eight days, showcasing the cast's active involvement. 
When it was all said and done, Predator premiered in cinemas on June 12, 1987. While it received mixed reviews from critics initially, it was a hit with moviegoers. The film achieved the second highest opening weekend revenue of 1987, bringing in $12 million, and ultimately grossing $98.2 million worldwide. And it especially did well with military veterans. Now some of you may be wondering if you can visit the old set. Well, you are in luck. Because for just $40 per person, the old Predator set for the Gorilla Camp has turned into a tourist attraction called Canopy El Eden. While the Predator is cool for all film nerds, the main pull of this place is mainly for zip lines. Now if you want to see the waterfall in the final fight scenes, then you have to go down south to Palenque, Mexico. If you've been to any of these locations, let me know in the comments and if you want to see those mugs I was referring to, check out this video on the screen. Over here. I am happy and mentally sane. I pinky promise. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. That's the outro.